<laughs> See, you are in an economy where you where trust is lacking. Mm. Outside this country, and is, that, is, that, is, that, is that where yes. you're hinging your, yes. your there is no the satisfaction with the ideas to sell? Yeah, apart from not that it's not a good idea. Because it has also been done before. Not, that, not because I, it's not a good idea? It's not a good idea for now. Okay, go ahead. We cannot, we <laughs> cannot sell our common patrimony to anybody for now. Because that is the last. It's like selling babies. These people are selling babies to feed. When else they are hungry, what are they going to say? They finish selling all the babies. That is what they are telling us that we should do. We can't go that route because we went that route before and we saw that all our sea rolling me, what are they? They have all been cannibalized and assets and everything stripped naked. And he cannot give me one example of public assets that were sold that have turned around and given us more dividend. If you sell... I'll give 10. No, I can tell 10 you. Examples. You don't even have one. But let me finish. <laughs> not only. Not only. No, not not only. Even, no let, let me finish. I not only. We, we have... Listen now. We have... Recently, we have... The, that we have that the power uh, generating uh, company has been privatized. We are going to have stable electricity. We are going to have everything in this world. After selling. In Nigeria. In Nigeria. It can only happen in Nigeria. Not in any, nowhere else. After selling this asset, we were told that they needed more money. The Federal, Central Bank, for an asset you bought, and you told her you have the capacity, Central Bank has to give public money to support them again. For something somebody bid for and bought, we have to loan them money. Whether that money has been paid or not, we don't know. As we speak, they have increased tariff. As we speak, they are still looking for more money. Something they say they have the capacity to run. So this is the kind of investors, these are the kind of foreign investors we have, that changes can I, can color. Ask, can, so, I ask, can I ask this question? I mean, yes. So, not not so, any any of you particularly. Yes. Do you think there's a conspiracy? Yes. Over to deny us of <laughs> our <laughs> patrimony. <laughs> there is conspiracy. You, you know, the person I want to ask. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a conspiracy? Yes. Uh, um, to fleet out assets that has to do with oil and gas. Because all the directions are going to oil and gas. Oil and gas. I, know... give you, I, I give you something. I, 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 just a second. There's this stuff I put, I, I mean, which is common knowledge. One of those assets is the energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's giving us profit. The federal government only has 49%. 49%. It's owned by consortium of um, Shell, Ajib, Shell, Shell, and all of that, yes. who, here, who have different percentages. Yes, In 2013, that company posted to Nigeria... 200 billion naira. naira in 2013. In 2013, either 2012 or 2013, 2013. 200 billion. And it has remained on the trajectory of growth in terms of financial um, help to Nigeria. Ni Nigeria's liquidity. Yes, that is the target. And we are just 49. It's run by private companies, so to speak. It has an MD, has a lot. They have shareholders. Why? <coughs> Where are the suggestions coming from to sell? The LLN. The same set of persons. I'm just asking. No, That's no, what okay, I'm asking. Okay, let him finish. I'll come yes. I will respond to that. I think it's the same set of persons who are interested in selling our common patrimony. <laughs> because they are not looking for more uh, company. They finish all those ones, cannibalize them, dispose of them. They are targeting the ones that are yielding profits now. By the time they are done with that, they will come to the remaining asset, which is ourselves, to be sold. Total <laughs> So we we'll go back to slave trade. So we we'll go back to slave trade <laughs> in the hands of these individuals. <laughs> now, this is it's better. The, the public that are watching must not be docile. They must rise now, because if you allow our friend here to, 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 package, lunch, to, package, to package his friends and economic stimulus, <laughs> which the United States <laughs> ran away from, what they even do to come out of recession was to tax the big people. To increase the tax and categorize it, the, 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 the smaller your business, the smaller amount you pay, the bigger your business, the more money you pay. But in Nigeria, they want to sell all the assets, including those that are doing well. What reason for anybody to say you want to sell the NNG, for instance? There's no reason other than greed, which has propelled, which has been the driving force yeah, for the I second Johnson. economy. Okay, I, I don't think... Let me, let me, Is there a conspiracy, first of all? I don't think there's a conspiracy. Why the target of oil and, oil gas, and gas assets? Why the target of oil and gas assets is because if we... Even did, though LLNG, for instance... It's not. It's um, a very productive asset. Not just productive. Federal government does not own, own controlling shares. You no, know, what what they were saying that the government should sell down part of uh, that of, is forty nine percent. But the business but is doing well. Let, so me, far. let me let me let me explain. I'm going to explain certain things to us. When the emphasis on oil and gas assets is because they are the assets that can be sold in the medium to short term. My take is that Actually, why, why, we're, why, we're, why we're having the, I'm coming. Uh, mm -hmm. Why we're having this debate is mm -hmm. because there is a policy vacuum. 
the government should have come to us and said, look, this is our roadmap to walk this country out of, out of recession. This is the immediate things we are going to do, which could include assessing long-term, I mean, current support lines mm -hmm. from our multilateral and bilateral partners. Second, we're going to sell some assets. Three, we're going to concession some assets. Four, we're going to release liquidity to the local economy. But because those things are missing, and they, what we're doing there, we're throwing balls in the air because there is no clear no, policy I, I direction. You are, you are, but I, 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 I come like, to your, I come to your question. We're going to close on that. So just I, I come I, to I, your, I let answer. You can also close it. I come to your question. Yes. Quickly, because there is, less there, than there is no conspiracy. And I'm going to share with us an analogy. Assuming your father gave you, bequeathed three houses to you. The three houses you rented out to, and you are living in one. The one you are living in, the roof has fell, the roofs have collapsed, you need to re roof. But you are getting any only two million naira rent on each on the two properties. But you need four million to re roof your, your house. Otherwise, what will be problem on you and your children? But you're also a trained businessman. You have an option to sell one of the assets, the, the houses for fifty million and go back into business, re roof your house and build your business back so it's smart to capacity. Business, it's a smart business to idea buy to back do the, that. to buy more houses. Mm. Asset and liability. More. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. We need to reclassify okay. our assets. Fine. Close the same, Mr. Uh, 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 we, have, we have to be very wary about this uh, gang up because first, it will deny us of employment because those assets that were, that were sold in the past, they sack almost all the workers, they recruit only their siblings and relations and people of their stock into those, whereas the employment or public service has measures that are put in place to ensure that all segments of Nigerians are represented. So if you sell it, you lose that. Then two, if you sell it, the economic base of this country will be shaky because nobody will invest in this country again as long as we don't have collateral. And I don't see any businessman or any bank or financial is in the financial industry that will lend money to anybody that has no collateral. So if we have our collateral, which is our asset, including the men and material, if they are all sold, no right. country will lend you money all to right. come out of Thank this very recession. Much. Don't you forget our guest today, very robust discussion. To my right, I have Mr. Johnson Chuko, who is the MD Carry Assets. And to my left, um, I have um, Mr. Solomon Edoja, is a former lawmaker of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Interestingly, what we have tonight is that everybody is geared towards the same point, which is let us protect what belongs to us and make the best of also what belongs to us. That's our package for tonight. Join us again next week on Face Off. Bye for now.